My name is Arthur Joseph Waits, and by the time you read this hastily written journal, I shall be no more. You must forgive the chaotic haze under which I write this frightful account. The morphine which alone makes recounting these events bearable has addled my mind and rendered me docile enough so that I might yet shed light on the terrible occurrences of the last three days. Until the discovery of this accursed tome, my life had been a blur of mundanity, which may not be unfamiliar to yourself. A student of religious anthropology, my life was sent into disarray when I happened upon a strange and ancient book, sent to me by a colleague who happened upon it on an academic exposition in the Mesopotamian Valley. The antediluvian volume is among a class of few heretical texts of which I have made myself something of a scholar. Rejected by the alumni of my university, I took on the task to uncover the academic potential of such a discovery myself. The old fools at the Otomi University Board were likely swayed by fear of intervention from local ecclesiastic bodies. The book was printed in an array of ancient texts and languages, primarily Arabic and Aramaic. However, a range of scripts are present, both known and unknown to me. The cover read, Kitab al-Azif. Necronomicon? I have seen similar contents in select works of insular occult texts before. However, the breadth and diversity of mythology contained within this work surely could not have been derivative of a single religious source. I took a peculiar fascination in one particular terrible and ancient deity described within this strange book by the name of Yog Sothoth. The book detailed a particular ritual, a sort of summoning. It was apparent that as powerful as these beings, or gods, may be, they are usually sequestered, locked out of our physical realm and dwelling in places beyond the three known earthly dimensions. Perhaps I would be the one to call upon this knowledge. Less academics may have been dissuaded, but in my fervour, conventional scepticism left me. I would not be dissuaded by trivialities such as ridicule or embarrassment at the hands of my peers, I found the promise of the gifts of knowledge presented by this ritual alluring. Ya, Yog Sothoth, and Gerd Ye. Ya, Ya, Yog Sothoth. Ya, Ya, Yog Sothoth. Ya, Ya, Yog Sothoth. Ya, Ya. The events of that night are lost to me. I am unsure if I was even in fact successful in performing the ritual. What was known to me, however, was the deep and irrevocable sense of unnatural dread that now filled my head. Restless and desperately yearning for calmness of mind, I turned to material substance to soothe me.
That night, I slept little. The mere thought of the denizens that lie unrevealed within that book tormented me, and no rest found me. Despite my best efforts to remain alert, however, consciousness eventually failed me. Shaken and at a loss in my search for consolation, I turned to more traditional means. My beliefs have long been ambivalent towards conventional higher powers. However, now, more than ever, I desired some certainty or solace. I don't expect any answers from you, but I don't know what to do. I have sought answers to all of life's questions, and you, you have answered none of them. But now I'm unsure. If what I have uncovered within the Necronomicon is true, and if its secrets were kept so for a reason, then am I damned for these? unnameable horrors that I've foolishly proven will certainly not shed me any clemency. I have shunned your guidance in the past, but now I must try. If there is some peace, some solace I can find, then you must show me. For these blasphemous things I've uncovered through relic and ritual must not be repeated. Such abominable scourges staining reality must surely not be. If you are there, watching me, guiding me, show me. Show me now, or damned I will remain. With sleep an impossibility, I remained paralysed by thought. I could think of little else aside from that which I had seemingly unleashed upon myself. Yog Sothoth. Prayer had seen me no comfort. Sleep afforded me no escape. No soul would believe the things I had wrought upon myself. This was my burden alone to bear. Even with my soothed mind, my curiosity was insatiable. I would find no answers in prayer, and I could seek no guidance or help through external means. Even the most liberal-minded academics would scorn my claims of the otherworldly, and I would no doubt find myself in shackles behind the cell walls of some repugnant infirmary. I had to dig deeper. I sought answers from this being, and I would see that I find them. The Necronomicon is many things, but despite the horrors in turn within, I knew revelations could be unveiled. 
If I could open an avenue of communication with this being, perhaps I might find answers to the damnably vivid visions that flooded my mind. If I could, however, not put a stop to the torturous maladies that ailed me, then I knew only one option that could rid me of them. Ya, ya, Yog Sothoth. Ya, ya, Yog Sothoth. Soga Mgarilya. Yog Sothoth, I invoke you. Appear to me now. You tread where you should not. You speak to me now? After all this? Speech is a primitive description. Why do you torment me so? Do you not have the answers I seek? I have grueled over this monstrous tome for days. I have sought answers to my own existence. Must I drive myself to madness any further? What would you like to know? What can you teach me? What could I show you that would find value in your hands? What potential could so furtive a being possess? The fathomless depths of reality reach beyond your understanding. You have striven beyond yourself. Impressive. How can I trust a being who veils himself? Show yourself to me. Show me! Show me anything, damn you! Oh god, no! In that moment, I think I went mad. Yet, Sitting here now, I cannot resist doubting myself. Are these merely the hapless ramblings of a madman, desperately trying to drown out the incessant dronings of my own mind? My mind wanders back to repugnant and dizzying reality, maddening for a similitude of the things I have come to witness. There's no doubt in my mind. The terrible, and frightening reality before me. <laughs> God help me. <laughs> the pistol. The pistol. <laughs> <laughs>